Hi there everybody of YouTube, Vo here today and today we're gonna review Ultra Beast for the Sega Genesis. So Ultra Beast here is uh, one of the few launch titles for the Sega Genesis. It's an action uh, being mobs arcade style uh, game. Mm, this is the Genesis port of that game. So uh, I got this when I first uh, got my Genesis so it's basically one of the more cheaper games to get not many people like this game so <laughs> I am pretty much one of the few people that still enjoy this kind of game but like um, like all the early Genesis games of its time it's it's uh, was released to showcase the capability of the Sega Genesis if you have seen all the commercial of what Sega had aired at the time this was to compete against the Nintendo Entertainment System so Sega is pretty much bringing all their arcade heavy hitters throwing one after another against the NES and with games like Ultra Beast here you actually have an arcade experience at home over the NES where it actually has just 8-bit quality graphics and gameplays and stuff well here you have your first 16-bit arcade port so let's see how it plays let's see how much it ages and if it's still worth playing today so uh, let's pop it into the Genesis and see how it goes I'll be playing using my Hyperkin controllers and there you go so uh, there's Ultra Beast now there's a co-op multiplayer in this game too just like that so with uh, two players both players can team up to go against uh, level by level trying to beat up all of these uh, all of these enemies and ghouls and werewolves and all that stuff I'll be uh, playing single player mode here and show you all the gameplays of this. Now you really only need three buttons to play this so even though I'm using a six button here, three button is all it needs. Now the concept behind Alter Beast here is that you are this Roman warrior and you were summoned by Zeus on a mission to rescue his daughter Athena for some reason Zeus is lazy or something <laughs> always have human do his uh, dirty work so yeah but as a as a Roman fighter you are you are giving all these uh, power orbs that allows you to upgrade all your stamina and appearances so every time every time you grab an orb it allows you to upgrade all your um, all, all the stamina from one form to another eventually once you get the third the third orb it allows you to uh, change form into a, a beast a beast form so on level one here I was able to uh, change into this werewolf form and as a werewolf, you you also get some uh, new abilities like the abilities to shoot fireballs and this uh, flying this flying um, flying dash attack here. I I prefer using just a fireball. So uh, basically, level one is pretty much just that. So the way that Alter Beast, the way the Alter Beast process is that you basically go from level to level trying to upgrade yourself into a beast and then once eventually you become the beast you will have to face that, the challenge of that level 
Meaning you have to fight the boss of that level, and the boss will not, the boss will not fight you unless you became the beast. So once you have the beast, you just you just have to get used to. Uh, you just have to get used to uh, the using uh, the gameplay of the beast. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to uh, get out of that level. Just like that, I miss um, I miss one of those uh, white chimera there. Usually, the white chimera is always the chimera that's gonna give you those um, orbs. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the second level here is much more much more challenging than the first one. So as you can see, I have a game over there. <laughs> Still need to. Uh, master more of this game because but considering that this is a launch title for the Sega Genesis like any other launch title at the time similar to the NES launch title Super Mario Bros 3 or if I could say a pack-in title like Super Mario Bros for uh, the NES you could basically continue from from where you last left off by just holding the A button and pressing start so just like in Mario, you hold A and press start and you return back to the level where you last left off. So that's one good thing about this game is that uh, you can always return to your last uh, level that you play. Now the, re the reason why most people don't like this game is that it's not because the beast concept is bad, but it's because that the gameplay is a little bit clunky at times. As you can tell, it's hard to uh, get these enemy off your head. And the jumping in this game is kind of awkward. Just getting these orbs to turn you into a beast might be, uh, might be uh, challenging sometimes too. Now this uh, newer form, the dragon or gargoyle form here, you can actually turn your um, beast invincible for a few seconds and also shoot, shoot a laser out of his mouth too. And you need these, this power to fight this boss here. And that's how you buy, that's how you fight him. Basically you just go, go you, you could basically just go near him and then use that electricity like two or three times and then it will like squash all the eyeballs away for you. If you're doing that from far away, it will not work. So <laughs> Here we're on the third level now and basically it's pretty much the same thing as the other two levels but on a different, uh, different thing. So right here we're in the cavern levels. Stupid camera won't focus. So yeah. There we are, back to the cavern level. And each level has a different beast form too. There's also a cheat code where you can uh, modify those beast forms to appear on other levels as well. But if you're playing the normal playthrough, you always have to uh, endure with the same beast form. <laughs> now this level is a little bit more tougher than the other levels. And it's kind of tougher to get the orbs too, considering those Chamura appear randomly sometimes. Also, if you notice in this game, the screen has an auto scroll. It auto scrolls by itself, so you pretty much have to uh, you, have, you pretty much have to prepare for anything that's coming. As you can tell, I I was not turned into a beast yet, so the boss will the boss of that stage will not challenge me. That means I can't leave this level until I become the beast. 
Now you have only three buttons to use, so it's basically a punch, a kick, and a jump. And usually jumping like before is kind of a little bit awkward. You can pretty much just re return to your last levels that you play time and time again until you can get through it. It's pretty much like a practice kind of thing. And this character here, this Roman fighter, doesn't have any other moves besides the punch, the kick, and some of this lower kick and lower punch and all that stuff. So there's no really, there's there's no actual special moves that you can perform to actually help you against any of these enemies. Once you upgrade, your strength does become a little bit more better or more important. But like before, you won't get anything special until you become the beast. <laughs> and all the special st stuff could be done by just pressing the buttons. The voice is, is also kind of... It's kind of nice to hear but a little bit annoying sometimes too. Especially all the yelling and stuff. So that, that's basically Alter Beast here. Pretty much one of the more, uh, one of the more original Sega Genesis launch title. Uh, it's it's kind of like a mix uh, opinion kind of title because there are a few people that loves it and few people that hated it. I pretty much play it as a time killer, so I I I usually think that it's just a game to uh, for Sega to demonstrate the capability of the Genesis. So it's not really something in depth or something you will actually coming back to. To me, I use it to play on the Nomad or my Retro Duo Portable just to kill some times or just to just to uh, help me um, pass uh, pass all my uh, free time around. So Alter Beast here, I could say is. It's a pretty uh, interesting game, a nice little arcade port. If you have a friend to play with, it, it might be a bit more, um, a bit more enjoyable. But playing by yourself, there's just not any fun in it because, considering the slow pace of the game and the fact that you need to constantly upgrade to get through the levels, and the levels will repeat if you're not a great so you have to get those orb enabled to progress <laughs> so i have to say for alter bees here it's basically to me a c rated game so if i had to grade this game for what it is i'll i'll give it a decent c there i mean it's not it's not that bad the controller is the control is still uh, playable it's just that it's a little bit clunky at times and could be um, could be a little bit slow. I also don't like the auto scroll because there's no actual moment where the screen will stop unless unless you're actually facing the boss yourself. So as a pack-in game and a launch game, I'll give it a C. And the enjoyment factor of it, I have to say, is. It'll be in it's more enjoyable if you play it with a friend. So if you're playing the single players, then you're not gonna be able to have that full enjoyment at all. There's no extra stuff that you can unlock. There's no um, there's no um, any um, extra contents that you will discover unless if you know the codes to uh, skip levels or modify the beast for in other stages, then you could have a little bit of fun with it but as a game by itself I say Ultra Beast it's a C at best and yeah it's still a little it's still one of the few enjoyable games that I come back to but for if if I were to play in depth I'm probably not gonna bother because there's not really anything in depth about it. It has a it has a very uh, cliche stories too. You're basically going out to rescue the re the uh, daughter of this Zeus character. So even if you do beat the game and finish the game for what it is, 
you're basically starting back up at the same levels again and again the, the levels does get a little bit more difficult once you restart but it's still a mediocre experience too <laughs> so I say if you have a friend then to play it with then this game is on will give you a lot of enjoyment but if you don't have a friend and you're playing this by yourself you're pretty much going to be a little bit disappointed by the lacking contents and the length of the games and all the simplicities of it I mean it is kind of simple to go and pl pick up and play but at the same time it's it, it doesn't offer it doesn't offer that um, worthwhile experience like most other games so unlike Super Mario Bros for the NES which is also a launch title where you have lots of challenge and more levels to uh, more levels to go through Ultra Beast here pretty much offer you a lesser experience so yeah for Ultra Beast a C at best still a good game but not really that much in depth so if you if if I say if I should get this game again I'll sh probably get it pretty much just for uh, a time killer so if you would if you want to get this game for your Sega Genesis don't don't expect anything in depth with it you're you're not gonna be you're you're not gonna be um, awing at it as much as you could with all the other games, considering that it doesn't have anything to wow you over besides the beast form. But if you play it for what it is as a arcade home port, then you're you're gonna have a little bit of enjoyment with it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about Alter Beast here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this videos and uh, look forward to uh, my other future videos.